right, our next speaker, Haroon Mohammed, is a PhD candidate with Dr. Mohammed Saleem in the Department of Comparative Pathobiology in the School of Veterinary Medicine. Some fun facts about Haroon. He was born in Canada, raised in West Lafayette, but his family is originally from India. He earned one of his bachelor's degree from Purdue University in agricultural and biological engineering, but made the switch to drug discovery for his graduate studies. As a child, he had a strange fear about sitting in cars that went through a car wash machine. Well, he states that he's thankfully outgrown that phobia. That fear has been replaced as an adult with a fear of public speaking. This one he will conquer tonight, I am sure. Before starting his graduate school, he had a fun experience of working in the construction industry with a friend remodeling two homes in Lafayette. His friend jokingly implied that he was not skilled enough to become certified as a contractor, electrician, plumber, or skilled laborer. So it was a sign for him to return back to school and find another career, this one in veterinary medicine. The title of his talk tonight is Bad Bugs Need New Drugs. Death by paper cut. It seems like something out of a Shakespeare play, but prior to the discovery of penicillin and other life-saving drugs called antibiotics, people commonly died from infections caused by these tiny, single-cell bad bugs called bacteria. While we once possessed a toolbox full of powerful antibiotics, many of these bad bugs have developed clever ways to block the effectiveness of many of our current antibiotics. As a result, one of these super bad bugs, called MRSA, now kills one out of every seven people it infects just in the United States. My research focuses on developing new treatment options for MRSA infections using the STAR method. The STAR method begins by screening a collection of hundreds of chemical compounds, trying to find one that is able to kill or stop MRSA from growing. This screening led to the discovery of a new antibiotic that is able to kill MRSA more quickly than several commercial drugs. But how does our antibiotic attack MRSA? We have found that our antibiotic appears to target a key step in the process that bacteria use to form a special structure called their cell wall. Now the cell wall can be thought of like a fortress for the bacterial cell, providing it both with the physical structure as well as protection from foreign invaders such as drugs. Antibiotics that can target and disrupt the bacterial cell wall are very attractive because this cell wall is not present in our human cells. So it's unlikely that our antibiotic would harm us. But before we could test our antibiotic in humans, we had to confirm that it was safe and effective in animals. And given that MRSA is a leading cause of skin infections in humans, we tested our antibiotic in a MRSA skin infection mouse model. And what we found was astonishing our antibiotic was able to reduce the amount of MRSA present in infected skin wounds by more than 95%. This is a critical step to help ensure that these skin wounds heal properly. So after reviewing all the information that we had collected, we had to ask ourselves an important question. Have we just discovered the next great super drug to defeat MRSA, the super bug? We're not quite there yet, but my goal is one day for my antibiotic to join the toolbox of life-saving drugs available to treat MRSA infections. My hope is that this work will help ensure that we do not go back to a time where death by paper cut is common. 